Hey folks, this is Nod. I'm playing Space Engineers again, and I'm taking a short break from my other campaign. And um, a friend of mine has just recently taken up playing this game, and he's all sorts of into it. Uh, but he had a bit of an unfortunate uh, <laughs> occurrence happen to him the other day, and I, I take some responsibility because um, he had a rover and he was using the remote control uh, and a seat on it uh, to control it remotely while he was sitting in the, in, in the rover. And there was some glitch with the camera, and uh, I don't know exactly the specifics, but uh, I suggested, well, just throw a cockpit on it, and um, you know, and that should solve all your problems. Well, um. <laughs> Uh, that didn't go quite as well as uh, I had hoped, so um, let me kind of show you. Uh, I got a little experiment going over here. We'll kind of uh, show you what sort of things happened. <laughs> so I'm in the easy start world here. I've switched it. I just made up these little uh, doodads over here, and then now I'm in survival mode, so I can die and, and I have to weld things and all that good stuff. So, so anyway, I got a bunch of little cockpits on sticks here, so. The first one is uh, basically it's just a cockpit and a small reactor and that's all. So we're going to hop in there and we're in our side, inside our cockpit and something is going very wrong as you can see. Um, everything is blinking and um, yes I'm running out of oxygen and I'm going to die because there's no air in this cockpit and that is not good. <laughs> so um, I'm going to hop out of here before I die. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, the thing with that is, is uh, you know, cockpits are sealed up. They're designed to go into space, and of course, there's no way to roll the window down on these things. So, um, so my buddy, uh, yeah, put a cockpit on his rover and got in there, and all of a sudden, he dropped dead, and he's like, um, <laughs> what the heck gives? So, um, so I talked about maybe a couple of options you got for uh, flying around uh, on a planet with atmosphere. And what you uh, the, the normal standard thing is to put uh, an air vent on there. See, I got a little air vent on the uh, on the front of this uh, cockpit. It's attached to one of the uh, little ports. They also they, you see they got little connector ports. There's one on the front here, and it's pretty standard to just stick one of those on, on the front there. So let's hop in here and see how things do now. So so now I have oxygen in here. Um, see, it says oxygen high, and uh, this is much nicer in here. So if I turn off the, uh, I've got a hotkey for this. Oh, let's just go into this. Actually, it's a little clearer here. Control panel, air vent, and uh, I got depressurize on and off. Now you'd think depressurize is the last thing you want to hit, but because the air vent is on the outside of the ship, what is it? What it's trying to actually do by hitting depressurize is it's trying to depressurize the entire planet into your cockpit. So that's actually what you want, and it actually pulls the air in from outside and and you can breathe. So if I turn this off now, um, actually probably nothing will happen initially because it's uh, there's some residual air in this cockpit now and it'll last a good, a good while. But anyway, um, I'm going to turn that back on just in case I get back in it. But anyway, you put an air vent in it and that'll work great for, so you can kind of see the effects there. Um, you put an air vent on there and as long as it's in an atmosphere that has oxygen in it, I think uh, the Earth-like planet and the alien planet both have uh, oxygen on them. Mars? I think Mars works too, although it's it's got very little oxygen uh, and it takes a while longer. But anyway, the Earth-like planet, definitely, you can use it. If it has an atmosphere, you can usually this sort of works. So. Then, of course, there's the... Um, this is more for space. Uh, you can What you can do is you have a... Uh, you have an, uh, an oxygen... Jeez, um, I'm drawing a blank here. Well, you've got an oxygen tank and you've got an oxygen... I can't remember the name of it now. Ah, brain for it. Alright, uh, let me get in the cockpit. It all will make sense. Oxygen tank, oxygen generator. That's what I'm looking for. Jeez. Alright, so the oxygen generator takes ice, which I have in my inventory. Oxygen generator has 3k of ice in there, and that is being turned into oxygen right now. So I go to my oxygen tank. You can see it is 100% full. And uh, that's being filled up by the oxygen generator, which is pumping air into my cockpit. So I can sit in here all day long and I have lots of air. So um, so that's, that's what you, but you don't really need to do that on a planet's surface because you know it's a bunch of it's a, it's a lot of bulk on your spaceship that you don't really need and if you're only ever going to be on the planet uh, that you don't really need that stuff you can get away with just using an air vent. 
but anyway, if you want to go to space, this is a good idea to put the oxygen generator and oxygen tank on your uh, spaceship. Now, <laughs> um, yeah, my buddy decided he was going to like play around with this uh, hooking up stuff and whatnot, and he, he went mining with his ship, and he ended up breaking a whole bunch of his stuff off of his ship, and apparently, um, by snapping the end off his... Uh, I'm going to try to stim simulate this. So if I go in here, let's stop it. Sorry. If I go in here, right now I've just got a conveyor terminating in just a, a, a conveyor six-way block. And, um, you know, that shouldn't have any air in it. In fact, if I go in here, I'm probably going to die. So I'm not going to spend too long in here. So, yes, oxygen, no oxygen, get out of there. Okay. Now, he was saying that he because he, he smashed the end off this somehow, and... Uh, and, and because it had an open... Wow, it's getting really glitchy on me all of a sudden. Because the end of the conveyor was open, he was under the impression that maybe it was pulling in air. So, <laughs> let's hop in there now and see if that's actually the case. It is not. There's no air in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that's not good. Hmm... Okay, that does not seem to be a thing. So having an open... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. Um, I don't think that's a thing. Maybe it was just some weird glitch. I think he had an oxygen tank on it originally, and it just... Uh, I don't know. That's that's really strange. Yeah, that does not seem to be a thing. <laughs> Although it would make sense. It does look like the air could get in through that, but... There's my phone blinking there. Beeping. Uh, don't mind that. Um... Anyway, yes, th these are the more preferred methods. That that doesn't seem to work. But um, yes, put on an oxygen generator, oxygen tank if you're going into space, or if you're just going to be hanging out on the planet, an air vent set to depressurize, and uh, that'll keep you uh, going. And whatever you do, well, the other thing you can do is if you really must get into a cockpit, is you can uh, actually here, uh, is you can put your helmet back on. Okay, and you get in the spaceship here, and you're okay, because now you're using the oxygen from your suit, so you can stay in the cockpit this way, but as soon as you take the helmet off, you start dying. You can take the helmet off once you're inside. No, okay, I can't, but if I get in the spaceship with the helmet on, I'm okay for as long as my suit oxygen will last, I guess. So. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, do a little experiment with that and uh, see what's what. So, there you go. All right, well, um, there's that. Uh, if you think this stuff's helpful, please subscribe. Uh, give, me a, give me a like and share and all that good stuff. That's all for now. Take care.